In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I made this dragonfly diorama. When I woke up this morning, I saw this dead dragonfly right here. And since I think it's a beautiful creature, I want to make a diorama for it. But first, um, I trace around it so that I roughly know the size and can work with the paper sketch in the diorama so that the dragonfly is safe. So this is the paper sketch. And now let's put it in here. Like that. Lid on. And I will put that somewhere safe. I want to display it in this glass dome right here. You know I love glass domes. And I got this for really cheap because it's broken, as you can see here. But I think um, it should be the perfect size for my little dragonfly diorama. Okay, since dragonflies um, usually live near to the water, I thought of round base and then in here like a little swamp or a little river with rocks on the side and a bit of grass and sticks and then the dragonfly can sit somewhere here and then the glass dome over this whole thing. So that's my idea. I know it's beautiful. The sketch is beautiful. Uh, so let's make it. Alright, to get started I first have to remove these things from the wooden base. Okay, now the base is free and I want to put on here a little plaster um, base for the uh, to model the, the swarm and everything, so I have to make a little mold. Okay, here I got my basic mold. Um, and now a technique I like to use to create caves or rivers. I formed them with aluminum foil and then just placed them in the mold so that when I pour in the plaster I got them as a negative later on. So now we have to imagine that we are looking at the um, base from the bottom. So this is the bottom and here down there that's the top. And since I want the river uh, or the swarm going through here, I will form it with the aluminum foil and then glue it in. Alright, so far the mold is finished, now I just have to fill it with plaster, but to do that I have to go shopping because I ran out of materials. So 24 hours are over, now I will release the plaster base from the mold so that it can dry all the way through. So everything's looking good so far, there's only one bubble. Um, but now let's take out the aluminum foil. So the aluminum foil is out and besides from making a huge mess, um, it looks beautiful. And that's why I love this technique so much, because it really gives you this natural um, rock texture. So if you're a making diorama and you need a river or a cave, I definitely recommend to try this. Uh, it's a bit hard to release the foil from the plaster, but the results are worth it. 
Okay, now I want to build up a bit more texture because it looks pretty flat and boring. And here I got some stones that are left over from my Sif Holocron project. Um, it's a really cool diorama, check it out if you haven't already. And I was thinking about maybe adding some stones here and there and over building up more texture by adding plaster. But um, before I can do that, I have to rough up the surfaces so the new plaster has a bit more um, to stick to, to grab to and uh, preventing it from falling off. Okay, new plaster is on and I think that looks pretty good so far. Um, normally I do more rock textured dioramas or, or themes and um, so this was kind of new to me to make like a swamp, um, modeling swamp and sculpting, but I think it turned out pretty good. The river blends in really well and so I will let it dry now and get back to it when it's fully dry. Alright, this isn't fully dried now, but I'm running out of time. So I'm thinking about putting it in the oven to dry it, but I'm afraid that it might crack. Um, that's why here I have some leftovers uh, that I will use as a test piece. So let's try to bake that. And here I got my test piece. I baked it for half an hour um, at 80 degrees Celsius and it sounds dry and feels and looks dry so um, it seems to work there are no cracks i can't no no cracks at all um, so let's put in the real piece So after one hour of baking, um, it's dry now and ready for painting and I will start by making the little swamp in here um, because I want to fill it up with the model water and then I can't paint it anymore so I have to paint this first. Alright so while this is drying I'm making a little mix out of these to give it a bit more texture. Alright, so now I got this swampy look I was going for. Uh, my mixture uh, made out of gravel, grass and a bit of dirt turned out pretty good. Um, so I let this dry and then I pour in the fake water. Okay, to make the water um, I got these water drops right here. Um, these are plastic water drops. They are left over from my lake. I made my model train. I can show you that in a sec. And you simply just normally put them in the oven and then when they're molten you um, pour them into the lake or river or whatever. Um, but for now I want to uh, put them right into the model and then heat them up with my hot air soldering station so it melts right into the model. Um, but before I can do that I want to create a decent color because I got brown, green and blue drops and swamps are usually more brown, green um, looking so I have to make a little mix right here as well. Okay, now the glue is dry and I can start making the fake water, um, but first I have to cover the ends. Okay, now that the ends are covered, um, I can start by pouring in the granulate I made earlier. And now I have to melt it down. So 
So it cooled down. Let's remove the tape and see how it looks on the inside. So far, so good. Oh, which one is the top layer? There it is. Okay, that melted all the way through. And now the big part, that melted all the way through as well. There's still the bubble, but I can remove it later. Yeah, so what should I say? Um, it turned out as I expected. Um, it looks awesome. It looks like a little swampy water that you definitely don't want to fall into. Um, yeah. So next I have to sand this um, because it's a little little bit edgy here and there. So the, I want to sand it a bit that it's more roundish. Um, yeah. Okay, so now I filled in little holes right here and it's ready for painting. And I will start by applying a brown base coat. Okay, so now that everything got a bit more texture and color, I can start the flocking and I will start by applying dirt all around the sides here. So now the outside is dry and looks pretty good. So I can start making the area um, around the little swamp river right here. And to do that I again make a little mix out of dirt, gravel and brown flocking. So now the river has this little surrounding and I think it looks pretty good. So I can continue by laying down a base coat of this dirt um, onto the ground before I add the grass and all the green stuff. So now the base coat is on and I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, it looks pretty realistic with a little dirt and gravel um, below the grass. So speaking of grass, let's put on the grass. That was a lot of grass in one sentence. Alright, so now the grass is on. Um, but I wanted to give it a bit more of the swamp look. So I'm thinking about adding a bit more dirt here and there. And therefore I'm going to water down a bit of the um, glue and then slightly put it on the grass and um, make it a bit dirtier. So now that the dirt is also dry, I can start um, adding these little bushes right here. Alright, so now all the bushes are placed and I think it turned out really good. Um, the like the look of the little dirt patches here and there and the little bushes blending in really nice. Um, I think the rock adds a really nice touch and the river uh, making its way through the landscape. Uh, it, it's, it's beautiful. Um, so the next step is to glue it onto the main base and then add some more... Um, I collected some grass, some weeds, uh, some little roots and then put on the dragonfly. So next to prepare the dragonfly and to hold it I got this wire right here, 
but to hide it I cut a little grass that I just put over the wire. So the wire is covered, now let's drill a hole into the diorama and prepare the dragonfly. And after three days of hard work, it's finally done. I think it turned out beautiful. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and enjoy the beauty shots. So right here is where I found it. Right here is where it's going to be. I think it's looking great in my bathroom. If you think so too, then feel free to like, share and subscribe. Here are my videos, here you can find my channel. So have a nice day and see you soon.